to our first installment of the blues. Uh, my name is John Nelson. Today I thought we would start off with the most primitive aspect of the blues, uh, something that W.C. Handy wrote about in his first discoveries of the blues, and uh, something that Lonnie Pitchford, uh, one of the uh, modern day blues artists, uh, held very true in his heart. And that's the diddly bow. Uh, also an instrument that Bo Diddley stole his name from, uh, and Muddy Waters learned on, and you know, on down the line. Everyone who was anybody in the Delta uh, that played guitar probably had their hand on one of these in some form or fashion. And today we are going to fashion our own diddly bow. Uh, as you can see, I just have a simple piece of wood here. I have two screws. They don't match. doesn't matter. Um, these can be nails. You know, anything is just going to hold it down. I did... Uh, just take a regular guitar string, but this string could be piano wire, uh, it could be a, a piece of a wire fence, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's, it's wire or, I mean, you could even use cat gut or something, but uh, probably wire is going to use do the best for you. Um, strings have these little, you probably can't even see it from there, but it's a little ball on the end of it. And if you can just kind of widen the end of that out and pop the ball out, it, a screw fits perfectly into that circle. So it's a really good anchor. On the other end, you can just tie a knot. And that's all I did. I just tied a, a little double hitch thing here and, and took a pair of pliers and pulled this down nice and snug. And was able to make this thing get right where it needed to be. And that's about all we're going to get. So now you can see that I've got my wire pretty, pretty on there. And uh, there, there is a good bit of slack, and there's a reason for that. Uh, the reason for the slack is so we can fashion ourselves a bridge, or a saddle and bridge set up, just like on a guitar, and the nut, which would be at the top of the guitar. Now you can get as fancy as you want with diddly bows. I've seen people online... Uh, they've made theirs with, with actual machine head tuning pegs and, um, you know, where they could actually tune the string so they weren't confined to, to one pitch or whatever. Uh, but you really aren't here either. I mean, you can tighten and loosen your screw and, and basically get the same result. Uh, but I've also, t I've, what I've done here is I've taken two root beer bottles. Uh, you could also use an aluminum can, pieces of wood, or like I said, a, a more elaborate setup that resembles a guitar. Uh, I've also got these two random pieces of scrap wood. I've literally found these walking around my neighborhood. So, you know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. All I'm going to do is use these as a wedge. And I'm going to put this one against this bottle. And I'm going to push this one against this bottle. As you can see, nothing's very secure right now. And that's really the reason for these wedges. So, I'm just going to take my nail and hammer here and you got to be pretty careful if you've already got your glass down so that you don't mess anything up there but uh, yeah you can pretty much just get one end there where you want it and you can actually even pull that out once you got it in there so you're not too concerned with uh, you know busting a bottle with a hammer which could definitely happen. If everything's on the up and up, that should fit perfectly, and it does. Excellent. So there is our nut or our bridge. It doesn't really matter. One end uh, is going to be the high end, one end is going to be the low end, and we'll figure that out in a second. Okay, so next thing's next. We're going to slap in our other one here. Uh, I like to check the tension of the string just to see if that's about where I want it. And yeah, that, that's cool. That'll be fine. Uh, this one gets a little tricky because it's, it's obviously under a lot more tension than our first one. So we're gonna have to really kind of keep things tight and be careful that we don't get a bottle. So. I think we're good to go right there, and I can just slide this bad boy right out. No harm, no foul. Get my nail 
scale in there. Nice and level. Pop the other one in. Right alongside it. Now what's really funny is that this thing actually starts to look like a guitar once you get these little pieces in there. You can really see the, the connection of the instruments. So I'm just going to slide this bad boy in there and uh, yeah, we got ourselves a uh, nice old fashioned diddly bow. So yeah, there it is. Got yourself a diddly bow. That thing ain't going anywhere. Uh, you could probably uh, anchor it down even better, but as you can see, we're good to go. So yeah, here it is. Strings intact. And you got yourself going on there. Now, you may not always have a slide around. Like my son's obviously stolen mine. So uh, you can even take the screwdriver that you uh, that you actually worked with here. Okay, so now that we've got our diddly bow going, uh, we can play some tunes. All right. So obviously that's going to be our root note. Not much other choice we have there, right? So uh, just like the 12th fret on the guitar, you can slide up and grab that again. Just kind of use your ears. That's a good thing about the slide is you can kind of just get there, you know? Pretty cool. All right, so that's the root and the octave. So we also need to worry about the fifth. So about there. And then you've also got the fourth and the third. We can worry about this. Here's the fourth. And then the third. Flat third, of course. Uh, let's see if we can work this. Make yours and play around with it. Ready? Yeah. My baby don't stand no cheating, my baby. My baby don't stand no cheating, my baby. My baby don't stand no cheating, don't stand on that midnight creeping, no, my baby don't stand no cheating. Thank you. 